Greetings and salutations from South Georgia, y'all. It is raining, it's gloomy, it's cold, it's all the above, and I hate this kind of weather. Oop, my lips was kind of chapped. But anywho, today I have a lame turkey. Um, one of his legs is broken. So I'm gonna go ahead and cull it today. Go ahead and get rid of it, put them in the freezer, probably ground them up. I'll show y'all the process of how I break it down and everything like that. Um, and make some ground turkey and also have some other cuts. So let's get to it, y'all, and uh, let's do it. All right, so first let me show y'all my setup. First things first, got my chicken catching, turkey catching net, right? That's to catch the turkey. I mean, it really ain't too fast because I say that the leg is broken, so it should be fairly easy. Then we got our yard bird plucker right here. Man, this thing is a lifesaver. Then we got our little pail full of water. So we go get that hot, got that propane going. And then of course, we got our knife, knife sharpener, and we got our table, evisceration station. The only thing I need now is a, uh, only thing I need now is a five gallon bucket for the guts and stuff. But you know, that's, I can get that later. Um, so let's go get the turkey real quick y'all and um, I'm actually gonna show it this time I'm gonna get my machete and I'm gonna just chop the head straight off. So, you know, I'm gonna just do it like that Don't mind chase. There you go Don't mind him. But anywho, let's get to it It's heating up pretty good y'all I think it's time to go get our turkey and go ahead and do what we gotta do That thing heavy, y'all. Let's go ahead and dispatch it and cull it. So, I got my axe instead. I figured that'd be easier than my uh, machete. So let's go ahead and do what we gotta do. All right, y'all, so the reason why I just gone ahead and, and uh, chopped the head off, or rather just uh, decapitate it, is because I feel like, me personally, I feel like, well first off, it can't fit in the uh, chicken killing cone, and I ain't got no turkey killing cone yet, so that's the first reason. But the second reason is I feel like it's just quick and it's painless for him. So as soon as I chop this, uh, as soon as I chop this neck off or his head off, you know, you see him flopping everywhere and all that, but he was dead instantly. And I was just waiting on his the body to bleed out and to quit flopping, and then we're gonna go ahead and dunk it in the water. Don't mind my dog, Chase. He just, uh, he excited. Um, and he's just having fun back there. I won't let him out right now because he'll, every time I let him out, y'all, he go and chase my sheep. And so I don't feel like all that today. Look at that, y'all. Just gotta do a little, gotta get these little ones off right here, but it'll be good. Hey, so we just gotta get these little ones out right here. That's in the wing. And that's easy. That's easy work. That's easy work. Mm 
they cut these feet off. And this right here, this is where his leg was broken at. That's why I say he was lame. So if you look at this one, this one's regular. But this right here, the leg had, his leg had broke. I don't know how, but you know, I didn't want him to keep walking around, wobbling him around. And plus he a good size anyways. This foot right here, my dog probably will enjoy that. <clears throat> and then let me see how I'm gonna get this one off. Mm. Yeah, that's what it was broke at. Right there. So if you look at this one compared to that one, this one was bent. Put that right there. Now to eviscerate, right? So you're gonna turn them over right here. And this little area right here, you wanna pinch and then cut a little slit. Just open it up, just cut a little slit. And then once you get it, then you're gonna just put it open like that. Boom. And then, next thing you wanna do is up here, where the crawl is, you just wanna cut right here. Cause you wanna, you wanna take that crawl out and that windpipe. That's why you gotta have a sharp knife, y'all. Oops, I cut it to the crawl a little bit, but that's fine. Cause I know how to fix it. You wanna grab these two, these two pipes right here. A little wind pipe right here. And then throw voice box and wind pipe. I'm assuming they, that's what they call. I know this is the voice box right here for sure. And then so what you're gonna do, you just wanna separate it because all this is gonna pull out through the through the bottom. All of it. And now we just gonna pull it out, y'all. All right, y'all, now that we got our crawl and everything out, and we got our guts and stuff, now we are gonna cut around the rectum, and then we are gonna separate the organs. All right, y'all, let's separate. So we're gonna keep the gizzards, or gizzard, rather, in the liver. So the gizzard on a turkey is huge. Way bigger than the chicken gizzard. And we're gonna keep the heart as well. So it's, it's usually easy, you can, show, you can pull it apart for the most part. So this is a liver, a piece of a liver, I'm sorry. Here's the other piece of a liver. And so, You gotta be careful when you're cutting the liver because it has a gallbladder attached to it. Here's the other half of the liver. Here's one of the kidneys. And all this going to my dog, y'all. All the organ meats. There it is. Then of course you got all the little intestines and all that. All that goes in the gut line. Then for the gizzard, you're just gonna cut right in between here and open it up. Then you just open it up like that, then you go clean it out, and then you're gonna rinse it out with water. This is what it looks like before. This is what it looks like after. 
Again, it's going to my dog. Oh, and I'm sorry, y'all. This is the heart, not the kidney. The kidneys are still in here. Let me pull them out. These are kidneys, y'all. It's hard to kind of get them out in one piece. You know, y'all, I lied again. This is the heart. I'm sorry, those were the kidneys. I was right. Piece of the neck. And then the other, the other piece of the neck, I'm just gonna cut it in half for my dog, and then I see y'all in the house so I can break this turkey down. All right, y'all, welcome back. Here we go. This is our bird. Now we finna break it down. <clears throat> All right, so right here, in between this little crease right here, y'all can see it. Right in here, we're just gonna cut right here to get the legs off. And then we're gonna twist it. Let that joint pop out of place and cut around it. Look at that, all natural. I raised these turkeys from little babies. I got them at like a week old. So this is straight from my homestead. I'm gonna keep the legs and the thighs. Uh, well, I'm gonna separate the legs from the thighs, but I'm gonna keep them how they are. But the breasts, I'm gonna ground up and make ground turkey. This is how you make your own ground turkey at home. You don't gotta buy it from the store. And then I'm gonna leave the wings how they are. Cause everybody love good turkey wings. With some nice gravy. So, wings, you just wanna flip up. Boom, pop that joint out of the socket. Same thing on the other side. Gravity is your best friend when you're doing this. Here we go. And then so now I'm gonna just take the skin off before I do the uh, actual breast. Separate them. It just makes it easier for me. So now let's get the breast out. So you see this center? So you want to cut on either side of these to get the breasts off from each side. No matter bad round noise, that's my son. Nice little brush. Got our ground turkey, turkey legs with thighs, got our wings, and then we got our carcass. And that's it, y'all. All right, y'all, there you have it. All done, uh, turkey process, grounded, broken down, all that. Um, but yeah, that's just what it is, man. It's just a regular old Tuesday in my life. But I wanted to show y'all that. Hopefully it blessed y'all, hopefully you learned something. I have all the links down below for everything that I use that you may need if you're butchering a turkey or chicken or whatever the case may be. 
Don't mind my children, y'all. They're in the background. But anywho, I pray it blessed y'all. And like I always like to say, if you give somebody the power to feed you, you give them the power to starve you. Peace and blessings. Bombs over Baghdad. Really ain't that bad. Little wiretap, yes, yes. Little dodge in the IRS. Little haven from the tax man.